You may be wondering why I keep going on and on about new line characters with respect to these files. The reason is that the new line character plays a special role in Python when we read in files. So for a human who's looking at a text document, the new line character is useful because it shows us the items on the list, each present on a separate line. Within a file that's read in, however, the file object that contains lines with new line characters is actually an iterable object. So we can iterate through each of the lines in the file. And the thing that defines each of the iterable items is the new line that's present at the end of each line. Here is an example. If I open that file and assign the file object to this uh, Python object called file object, then I can use a for loop and iterate through the file object, just like I iterate through a list or through characters in a string. The first time that the loop runs, it will read in the first line from the file object and assign it to one line. The next time the loop executes, it'll go to the second line and then it'll go to the third line. When it runs out of lines to iterate through, then the indented code block will end and it will move on to the next line that is not in the indented code block. So you'll notice here there's actually two levels of indentation. The first level of indentation is for the with as file object statement. That means that when this indentation level is finished, the file will be closed. The second indentation is the indentation for the for loop, so that after it is iterated through each of the items in the file object, it will stop iterating. It'll drop out to this indentation level. That's the end of the with as file object statement, so it'll drop back out to the original indentation level, and then it'll do the last line, which is to print the length of one line. So let's go ahead and try that. The reason for these extra spaces and the nine characters will become more apparent when we run this code. So here we see a little trick that we learned when we first learned about lists. We will start by creating an empty list called line list. And then as we go through this loop, we will append items onto that Python list one item at a time. Each time we iterate through a new line in the file object, we will take that line from the file object and append it to this list. So as this loop goes on, the line list will get longer and longer. And after the loop is finished and we drop out to the first indentation level, then the file object will be closed and will drop back out to the second indentation level. When we run this code, then the mystery is solved. The reason why we have these extra lines is because when the iteration was done, the uh, variable that was assigned the value that was iterated included the new line characters that were a part of the original file. So the reason why there was an extra space here is that we had one new line character from the print statement, but we had an extra new line character because that new line character was included as a part of the item that, that came from the iteration. So this is actually kind of annoying because we don't really want necessarily to have these trailing new lines in here. So we can take care of this problem of the trailing new lines by using the strip method. I think we may have introduced this earlier. What it does is it removes any leading or trailing white space, which would include things like spaces, tabs, or new line characters. So any of that stuff that's on the beginning or end of the string will be stripped off. 
So we just simply apply that method to the string that's resulting from the iteration before we append it to the list of lines. If I run this code, I can see that the result here is the same as the result before, except that these trailing new lines aren't there anymore because we stripped them off.